Hello and welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts! Last time we did Terrarium of Terror Act 2, we finished getting all of the notes there are left to collect in the game, well, aside from Jinjo Bingo, and we unlocked or earned a lot of Jiggies! So let's go ahead and go around the world and grab all the Jiggies that we've earned, go ahead and turn those bad boys in, because something awesome is going to happen. Also, one other thing, we do now have over 60 trophies, there is an achievement for 60 trophies that I forgot to pop up, so there it is! But let's go ahead and grab these five right here, go get these turned in. Alright, prepare yourself, because we have 70 right now, we've got five in our car, and well, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, well, I'll try to go show it off, actually. Well, this door up here has a 75 over it, so let's go turn these jiggies in and see what exactly that is. So we'll just turn them in, and let's check this out. As you can see, the door up here is going to open, and that will take us to Spiral Mountain. We can finally go home. There's a two over it. That kind of confused me for a very long time. Why was there a two over the door? But basically, that is Spiral Mountain Act 2, because when we started the game, the very first thing we did in the game was in Spiral Mountain. So my guess is that the first thing we did was considered Act 1. So this is Act 2. But I don't think you can ever actually go back to Act 1. I, there might be like some way you can glitch to find a hidden door or some crud, just like chilling somewhere in the world. But as far as I know, there's no way to get back to Act 1. But we also need to turn in some jiggies from, uh, where is it? There's some from Banjo Land. So let's go across the water here and grab those. And then we've also got some from Terrarium of Terror, so we'll get those as well. But let's go grab these six right here first. And for that, we just passed 80 jiggies. And for doing that, we get a freebie. Just a freebie. We get a Weldar's Breath. So now we've got two of these guys. I don't think I've ever actually used this so far. It's basically a flamethrower weapon. There will be a use for it in Nutty Acres Act 5, but we'll get to that. We're, we'll do Nutty Acres Act 5 eventually. But let's go back to Uptown and let's go and grab all the jiggies that we have waiting for us in the Jiggo Vent, which is right over there. And this time we've got nine jiggies, which might be a little bit clumsy to try to take back all at once, but I'm going to try. Let's make sure we get lined up just about right here. Let's get nice and lined up. There we go. And let's go over, grab the wrench bolt, see if we can fit all nine of these things in here all at once. Let's see what happens. I mean, they're in there. They're kind of technically fitting, so it's working out all right. You can see my car is just not liking this, though. Totally scrunched down in the back. And the cops are not going to make this one easy, are they? Oh, haha! -ha! I guess he'll just fall off the side of the world. That works. Okay, let me just go bring these back. I think we're done with the obstacles here. And once we turn in all nine of these, we'll actually get all the way up to 90 Jiggies. I think it was like 86 we needed to get open J Jigasium Act 6, but we also opened the last act in the game, Terrarium of Terror Act 5, and we get some more freebies. Now here, we get a very special set of freebies. We get some super blocks. These are kind of like the blocks we've had before. They're basically the same thing, but they've got lots of strength while still having a very low weight. So they're kind of a, the best of both worlds. They're strong, but also light. So very, very awesome right there. But now, we're going to go and do that act we just unlocked, Terrarium of Terror Act 5. Because that is the final grunty battle that we have to do, aside from back in Spiral Mountain. We have, we have some shenanigans there, but in terms of just like the random game worlds, this is the last grunty battle, so let's go in and do it. However, this one also has five Jinjo missions, so let's go do those first as well. Alrighty, so we start up top here, and if we go right over to the side here, you can see there's already a Jinjo. These Jinjo missions are going to be a little bit crazy. Keep in mind, even though this is not the last one we're doing, this is the highest Jiggy count mission in the game. 90 is the most you ever need to enter an act. So these are going to be some pretty tough missions. But here we've got Jinjo hurling. This one honestly is not too bad. It's a little bit luck based because, well, it's, it's physics based, but it's hard to control the physics to make it so that you can actually do it consistently. But what we're going to use here is the ball kicker. So let's go ahead and grab that guy. Let's go ahead and hit start game. And for this one, we've got to drive up. He's going to be in a very small checkpoint. So we're going to try very hard to get really close, but not bumping into him because we don't want to knock him off right there. So let's just be very slow. Oh, okay. Hit him a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab him, stick him in very carefully like that. And now we're just going to fly forward a little bit, kick him out, and he's going to ramp around the top of the stage just like that. Very nice. You can see this little stage right here. Oh, perfect, dude. It's kind of built to slope down to this drop-off right here. And you want to make sure you get it in this drop-off because this is a very, very long one. We just got to hope it doesn't get stuck on any of these random things here. And hopefully it'll bounce enough to get up to a thousand. Oh, we're going right on top of the hill. That should be good unless we get stuck on the side. Go back down. Okay, that should be good. And we got our first try. Not bad. 
So yeah, you have to get a little bit lucky for this to not get stuck on random little side things. But as long as it keeps going down hills, you're going to be just fine, and we got that one done. I'm actually not sure what happens. If we run out of time before it stops, I don't know if you get the point, or if you uh, get the coin or not. But it looks like we're not going to find out today. So there's that. There's one out of five Jinjos down. Let's move on to the next one. I'm just going to edit between each of the traveling sections here. Back inside the room with all these little mushroom platforms, we've got another Jinjo right here. It's kind of by where we did the mission from Act 1. Oh, I landed a little bit far away. Wow, one of the wings broke off of my vehicle there. But this one's going to be Jinjo Taxi Torpedo Isle. This one is not too bad. I would say it's not quite as bad as the freewheeling one that we had to deal with from uh, Act 2. But, yeah, we do have a torpedo, so we are going to have some things to shoot. But it's kind of weird. We'll, we'll, I'll show you guys why it's a little bit weird. Like it showed off right there, we're going to have all these little pink guys that are going to try to bump us around. And if we crash into them, they're probably going to knock the Jinjo out. And also, we don't have a lot of time here. Now, you can shoot these guys to stop them from bumping you. But the thing is, if you just don't get near them, you're kind of fine to begin with. So we've got the torpedo if we need it, but we probably won't. I think we'll be fine here. So we'll just keep dodging all these guys as best we can. That one right there might be a little bit tricky, but yeah, we're just gonna sneak around like that, not use the torpedo aisle at all, and there you go, we're already done. If you happen to crash and you drop the Jinjo, I would recommend just restarting the mission because you don't have a lot of spare time. You've got like two or three seconds spare time, so you're probably gonna have to start over if you crash. Now the next one, we're gonna go into the main room right here. Gonna go up a little bit, and he should be just chilling somewhere on one of these little platforms. Uh, where are you, Mr. Jinjo? Let's go up a little bit higher. I think the one in this room is actually up quite high. Yeah, he's way up here. There he is, chilling on top of this leaf. And this one is going to be... We've got a Jin... Oh, excuse me, we've got a Jinjo combat. I should mention I do have a little bit of a cold, so if you guys hear me sniffling or coughing or scratchy throat, that's kind of why. I feel <coughs> mostly fine, but it might affect my voice a little bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this Jinjo combat. We're going to use the uh, Nicholas Cage, same as always. This will be the biggest ball we've had to... Ball? The biggest ball we've had to deal with yet. But same as everything else, just kind of stick them like that and keep pushing them off. And it's super, super easy. So there is that. Three down, two more to go. So let's just call back our car because it's a little bit far away here. We'll just chill next to the bird doing somersaults for some reason. Uh, let's go to, I guess, this one next. We'll go down to the uh, one way down here. I think it's off in the side room. Yep, it's kind of in the middle right here. So let's see if we can just land on top of the guy. This one is another yellow Jinjo, and it's going to be a Jinjo Speed. Jinjo Speed, even at this act, is super easy. We just use the spring seat, and we'll be fine. So the mission begins, and the mission is over already, just like that. So even the hardest Jinjo Speed missions in the entire game, that will always work. No matter how, no matter which Jinjo Speed you do, that tactic will always, always work. So anyways, that one's done. We've got one more Jinjo left to do. We just gotta actually find the guy. I'm guessing he's gonna be a little bit over this way. Well, I'm looking at my mini-map. I know he's over this way, but I mean, I think he's gonna be in a different room here. So let's go down through this tunnel, and I think he's off on the left. Probably underneath here. Yes, indeed, there he is! All right, so this one is a Jinjo fetch. Right. This one can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to find if you don't already know where it is, but thankfully I happen to have already done a practice run of this, so I, I know where we're going here. So let's go ahead and hit start. Now, if you guys remember last episode when we were collecting a bunch of notes, there was a little hidden tunnel underwater, and that is where we have to get to. So we're going to go the exact same way we did to get to that. We're just going to go off to one of these side ponds right here. Oh, crud. Hold up, I didn't pick a vehicle that could actually pick the thing up, so let's go ahead and hit quit real quick. I'm gonna use the crud balls here. Right, so I've got a thing. Wow, I'm just doing 360s. Gosh dang, 360 no scopes, dude. Let's go ahead and go down the tunnel, though. And once we get over there, we should find what we're looking for. Where are you, mister? Oh, gosh dang it. Did I do this wrong? Oh, I'm thinking of the Jinjo fetch from Act 4. We're in Act 5 right now. Ignore me. Holy crud, ignore me. Okay, this one is actually going to be by the airlock, where we had to do the mission from Act 2 again, but, well, a little bit different of a place. So, let's go to the proper place this time. But on the bright side, you guys will know where the one for Act 4 is now, I guess. But yeah, it's going to be right over here. The thing is, it's kind of inside of a... Well, there's Grunty. It's kind of inside a ball, so we want to actually break this thing open before we go grab it. So let's just ram into it a couple times. You could put on a weapon to break this, but ramming it should eventually work. Or we can hop out and take a few swings at it. Oh, come on, get out of there, dude. There we go. There's a, good, a few good swings, and it should be just about to break open. Okay, 
So we've got another book right here. This is, I guess, a rare book. Uh, but one thing I've noticed, I don't think there's any time limit for Jinjo Fetch. I had a fetch that took me like three minutes to find it, and I still was fine. So really just take your time with these ones. No big rush. But now we've got this guy. Let's go ahead and take it back. And yeah, we'll, we'll do the underwater one in the next act. But there we go. We'll turn that one in. And we are done with the Jinjos. So now let's go and fight against Grunty. So as we saw right over by the airlock, that's where Grunty is. So let's go give her a little chat. Unpleasant Fat Oaf. I guess that's the, the name of this mission right here, and Piddles is on the side. See my new vehicle. I'm proud to man it. Full of surprises and bad for the planet. Yeah, Grunty's not very environmentally friendly. But I guess it doesn't really matter. We're kind of in a game world, so the environment's not too important. This vehicle guzzles so much gas. I didn't get to read all of that, but... Uh, well, basically all we have to do is... We have to knock Grunty out of her seat, kind of like we had to do back in the Banjoland Grunty mission. But this time she's going to be flying, and she's going to go kind of invisible, but we can still we can still see her. I'm going to go make a very simple vehicle that will work great for this, though. So what we're going to do is take some large engines and stick them just like this, and on the sides we're going to give them a little bit more space. Just turn them all out like that. And then we're going to put a seat directly in the middle. Then we'll take some fuel and we'll stick those on the sides like this. Then we'll go over to the propellers here, fly and float, we'll go down to propellers, grab some large ones, why not? And I'll stick those on all four of these corners here, just like that. And finally, we need a weapon. Actually, we need some ammo as well, so let me actually get some ammo. Let's go down to ammo, we'll grab some larges. We've got four larges, so we'll just go like that, flip them to the side, go down, give ourselves a little platform, I guess. We've got plenty of large engines, so carrying all that ammo shouldn't be too big of a problem. Uh, then we'll go down to weapons, use his ammo, and we'll grab our torpedo aisles, and we'll stick on two of those. Now, you could use the lasers for this, but the lasers are very hard to aim from a distance. Oh, let me actually, uh, oop, prod. Oh, I didn't save it, but we'll still be able to use it if we hit start game. I'm gonna go back to create vehicle. It should still have this vehicle loaded, and I'm gonna actually paint it and save it here. We'll go ahead and make this one purple, and because we've got so many large ammos on the bottom, I'm gonna call this one the large bottom. Alrighty, let's go ahead and hit start game. But as I was saying before, you could use lasers for this. The problem is getting up close is very difficult. I don't know if I'll be able to show it off here, but basically Grunty has a very advanced suck and blow, and she'll blow you away if you get close. Now, right here, you can kind of still see her, but I'm not sure if that stops our torpedo aisles from working. I think it might, actually. Oh, well, she's using a horn right there. We're just going to stay back, just shoot a bunch of torpedo aisles, and eventually we should get her right here. Come on, get her, Banjo! Normally, I would be done in about 15 seconds, but this time it took us around 21 seconds. Still fine. Um, again, the lasers would work, but it's hard to get it in time because you only have, like, 30 seconds to get that trophy. And for that... We get the horn! This is that siren's call we've needed this entire time, so now we can go back and get those elusive pig crates from Showdown Town. So let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way here, we will get an achievement for getting all of the different parts in the game. Apparently I didn't have the horn achievement on this account, but okay, there you go. Well, now we have gotten that achievement as well, because we've finally finished off our trolley. We've got all the parts there are to get, including the horn. That's all it does. But it will let us get those crates. So there's four of those special crates and then one stop and swap crate that we need the horn for. So let's go around and actually get these things. The first one, well actually, I don't know if you'd count this as the first one, but there's one kind of inside right here. I could go through the bottom area again to get back up in here, but I'm gonna try to just like jump it somehow. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I jumped and then jumped out of my car. I landed on top of this little light post and then I'm gonna knock it out completely and ruin that. Never mind. I'll just go around the legit way, okay. You know what, since that one's not really cooperating, we'll save that one for last. Let's go around here and grab this one that's been staring at us since the beginning of the game. It's right on top of this building over on this side. I guess this is Lardo's Pizza and Tutu Tutti Fruities. But let's go up here if we can. Come on, Banjo, just get up there, dude. There we go, we made it. So all we do is we drive up nice and close, then use the horn. At last, the sirens are calling to me! I am finally free! Free just as well, really! I've been sitting on this box for 40 years and my cheeks are, well, numb. Yes, his cheeks are very numb. The cheeks you're thinking of, yes. But for that, we will get crate 48. So let's go ahead and grab that one, and let's go and bring it to Mumbo's Motors. We've got three more of these to get, and then the one stop and swap one as well. The next one is over by the theater district. It's right up there. And they all say the same thing, so I'm not gonna read the dialogue every time. But to get up there, we do have to get our car up there. That's the important thing. You can't just walk up there. We just go like that, and then we spring up just like that, and there we are. So we'll go ahead and hunk at this one. I've fallen! Oh wait, wait, wait. No, I have fallen! I wonder if I can push it off with my car. Come on, dude. Push it off. 
Push the crate off. I don't want to have to go back up there. Just push it. It's not gonna work, is it? Anyways, for that, we get crate 49. But you just not knock the crates off, you crud. This next one is actually right by where we've got a stop and swap crate before, which is right up top here. We just gotta actually have the spring to get up there. Or I guess you could do a trolley hover glitch, but we're just gonna spring right up top, use the horn, and we'll bring it back. This is crate number 50. And the final main crate in the entire game is actually gonna be inside Uptown. We've already seen it, so, you know, I'm gonna go to Trophy Thomas, actually, because that's a little bit of an easier way to get into that middle section, so. We'll go through the water tunnel. You've seen me get there before when we took the globe in. And, uh, well, I'll go get the crate. Thankfully, we can just get back out very easily by going right over the, the fence right here. Okay, so there is all the main crates, but let's go get the one stop and swap crate as well. Oh gosh, I have to sneeze so bad. But we're gonna go back to the bingo palace right here. And you can see the lighthouse up there. We have to go on the beach behind it right here. Oh my gosh, I really have to sneeze, but we're just gonna go right down here. Uh, this one you do need the horn for as well. That's why we didn't get it before that. And I know I've said this so many times, but... You can't get this crate unless you've got the stop and swap items from Banjo-Kazooie, the Xbox Live Arcade version. A totally separate game, you've got to have that save data over on that, and on the same profile that you're playing this game on to actually get these to unlock. So, that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and get it, turn these in, and call the crate collection complete for the entire game. Now, these crates right here are going to be insanely good. So, let's go and check this one out right here. Let's just go skip through. As you can see, first off, we get a super seat. Yes, we're gonna get a lot of super items. The super seat is basically like a strong seat that's also a scuba seat. It's really good. It's also very, it's strong and light and all that crud. Here we've got a super fuel. This has more fuel than a large fuel, but only taking up one block. It's ridiculous. And we've got two of them. We've also got more of these uh, super blocks right here. And down here, we've got a super engine. This crud right here is only one block, but it is more powerful than a large engine by quite a bit, actually. It's crazy good. Down here, we've got super ammos. These have more ammo than a large ammo, while only being one block, and they weigh less than a small ammo weighs. It's crazy. We've also got eight super wheels. These are kind of like high grip wheels. They grip very strongly. You can pretty much like almost drive up walls with these. They're super grippy. And we've also got from the stop and swap, we got some googly eyes. Heck yeah, dude. And that's everything. But one little thing, I don't know if you guys realize this, but we've already seen a super fuel and some super blocks before. Way back in the intro to this game, when Banjo kind of drives up with the rare logo, you can see that's built out of super blocks, and it's actually got the super fuel there as well. So we've already seen a couple of these things. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the collection. Let's go check it out. 57 out of 57. We have got all 900 notes. Actually, all 1900 notes. We've got 6 out of 6 for both the Jinjos and the Minjos. We do still have some Jiggies to get from trophies. You can see we've got a few more Jinjo missions to get. Quite a few more Jiggies to get. So there's still a bit to go. I think this is like part 18. I think the series is going to have 25 or 26 parts in total. So we're getting there. We're getting to the end. But there's still a good chunk to go. And I've mentioned this before as well. But just to recap, we will be covering all the multiplayer stuff. As well as all of the DLC. All the Logs Lost Challenges, including all the achievements. All of that stuff. Anyways... That is going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And next time we'll be coming back. I don't know which act we're going to do, but it'll either be Nutty Acres, Gigaseum, or Logbox. So we'll be finishing off an entire another game world. So I will see you guys then. Take care.